Hello everyone. God bless you. I thank God for this moment. This is yet another moment that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad. We thank God for his steadfast love never ceases and his mercies never come to an end in Jesus a mighty name. I thank God even for what he's doing in our lives in the name of Jesus. I thank God for the Holy Spirit. I just I feel the praise of God in my heart because God is so faithful. He's so gracious. He is a good, good God. And I thank God because he also speaks to us even prophetically uh, through his word. Uh, through songs and uh, God is a faithful God. Amen. Uh, hallelujah. So I just want to uh, just praise the Lord and exalt him and lift his name on high because he is so faithful. He is so good. He is so amazing. He is the Alpha and Omega. Alpha, Omega, you are worthy of my praises today. Alpha, Omega, you are worthy of my praises today. Receive my praise, O Lord. Receive my praise, O Lord. Glory and honor I give unto you. Receive my praise, O Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I praise God, our Father and our God. You are the Alpha and Omega. You're the cause and the completion. You're the beginning and the end. You're the first and the last. You are the Alpha. You are the Omega. We worship you. Everlasting Father, we give you glory. We acknowledge you. We exalt you, Jesus. We exalt you, my Father, my God. You who knows the end from the beginning. We worship you. We put our absolute trust in you. Alpha and Omega. Beginning God, O eternal God, we worship you. You who knows our end, O God. You who knows all things, O God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We give you glory. We worship you, O God. Into your hands we commit our spirit. We surrender our lives to you, O God. We surrender the lives of your people to you, O Jehovah God. We put our absolute trust in you, Alpha and Omega, because you're the beginning and the end. You are the first and you're the the last. So you know everything concerning our lives. We ask my Father God that you bring everything into alignment in the name of Jesus. Let everything in our lives align to your perfect will, my Father, my God, because you're a good, good Father. You're a good, good God. You care for us. You have a good purpose for our lives. You have a good plan for our lives. I thank you, my Father, my God, for every man, every woman, every boy, every child, every person uh, that is listening to your voice, my Father, my God. I am asking you, Heavenly Father, that by your power, and by your spirit and by your word, my Father, my God, minister to them in the name of Jesus. Let them know and recognize and realize uh, that uh, you are in control of their lives in the name of Jesus, that you know their end from their beginning. You knitted them in their mother's womb for a divine purpose and an assignment. So you know their purpose. You know their lives, oh God. You have the volume of the book that is written about them in the name of Jesus because you created them, O oh God, uh, to bring praise to you in the name of Jesus. You created them, O oh God, for a divine purpose and an assignment, O oh God. You are concerned about their lives, O oh God. O oh, Father, we give you glory and we give you honor. We surrender all to you, O oh God. We surrender us, our lives to you, O oh God. We surrender the lives of your people to you, my Father, my God. By your power and by your spirit, O oh Jehovah God, begin to ordain the, their steps, O oh God, because the steps of a good man, a rodad of God, shepherd of our soul, a shepherd us, lead us by your power and by your spirit. Ha, hallelujah. You are the shepherd of our, our soul. Begin to lead us, O oh God. Begin to lead your people, O oh God. Begin to guide them, O oh God. You can only lead us beside still waters. You can only prepare 
a table before us in the presence of our enemies, O oh God, because everything you do is good, O oh my Father, my God, because you're a good, good God. You're a good, good Father, and you have a good plan and a purpose for our lives. So into your hands we commit our spirit. We surrender our lives to you, O oh God. We surrender everything to you, O oh God. We cast all our cares to you, my Father, my God. Your word says uh, that, that we should come to you who are weak and heavy laden. We are coming to you, O oh God. We are coming to you, Jesus. You are our burden bearer. Bear every burden in our lives. We cast it upon you, Jesus. We cast it upon you, O oh Jesus. Ah, hallelujah. We take your yoke that is easy and your burden that is light. Your burden that is light. Hallelujah. By your power and by your spirit, minister to somebody in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. I want you to surrender that situation to God. I want you to be still before the Father. I want you to be still before Jesus. I want you to surrender that issue. Allow the Holy Spirit, allow Jesus, allow God to minister to you. Fix your eyes on Jesus. Surrender, cast all your cares. Yes, just begin to cast that care to the Father. God's word says, come boldly before the throne of grace that you may obtain mercy at your hour of need. You're coming before the throne of grace. You are not coming before the throne of judgment. Just uh Take a moment also to just repent. Ask God to forgive you. Ask God to cleanse you. Ask God to wash you, to purge you. Because it is the blood of Jesus that cleanses us. And the blood of Jesus cleanses all things. It erases every handwriting that was opposed to you. Every written God. Whatever the enemy can bring before the Father is an accusation. Jesus took it away and nailed it at the cross of Calvary. He removed the legal ground. You just need to ask him to do it for you. You just need to believe and that you receive. Hallelujah. So Jesus is ministering to somebody right now. Just be still before the Father. You have repented. The blood of Jesus is cleansing you. Just surrender. Fix your eyes on Jesus. Allow Jesus to minister to you by his power and by his spirit. Allow the blood of Jesus to cleanse your soul, your spirit, your mind, your will, your emotions, your body. Yes, the blood of Jesus is flowing. The blood of Jesus will never lose its power. The blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus Yes, Jesus himself is ministering to somebody by his power and by his spirit. And where the blood of Jesus is, the spirit of grace is there. Yes, just believe you receive him. Hallelujah. Just be still. Allow Jesus to minister to you. He's cleansing you. He's sanctifying you. Hallelujah. Now just begin to tell God, thank you for the blood. Thank you, Jesus, for your blood. Thank you, Jesus, for your blood that sanctifies the blood of Jesus that cleanses all things. All things in your life have been cleansed. Now cast that care to Jesus. He's our burden bearer. He says that we come before his throne of grace that we may obtain mercy. As many as are coming before the throne of grace, they are obtaining mercy. They are obtaining mercy. They are obtaining mercy. As many as are coming boldly, we have been told by God's word, come boldly. All you need to do is to just come boldly. And as you come, Jesus is ministering to you. Hallelujah. Sweet Jesus, we worship you. Our Lord and our Master, the shepherd of our soul, is ministering to us right now. Hallelujah. Come boldly before the throne of grace that you may obtain mercy. You're obtaining mercy right now. For as many as are believing, they are receiving mercy. Because you're before the throne of grace. 
just fix your eyes on Jesus. Look to Jesus. He's the author and the finisher of your faith. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Now cast that care to Jesus. Cast it upon Jesus. His words is, come unto me all who are weak. Are you weak? Come to 